All right, Nas featuring 21 Savage with Hit Boy on the beat. The track is called One Mic, One Gun. It's released midweek. Nobody was expecting this. Talking about artists on rare form in Nas with the amazing King's Disease 3, with 21 Savage on the excellent her loss and his Hit Boy ever drop the ball? Mate, I'm excited for this one. Let's jump in. Guys, if you're new, subscribe. Come on. Ain't no back and forth, ain't no left or right. I got King's Disease, but I move like a knight. Rappers bandwagon trying to get some light. I do it for the fam, never for the hype. When you turn a legend, no such thing is relevant. They must have forgot that I'm a new rapper that got integrity. All in the media. I thought he was going to rhyme relevance with elephants then, especially when they said they almost have forgot. I was slightly worried, but he didn't. He moved it in a different direction. I think that's a good thing. But this beat is going to drop big. It's like a little bit cha-cha-cha. Never thought I'd say that on a video. No such thing is relevant. They must have forgot that I'm a new rapper. They're elephants. So they got integrity. All in the media and blouse. That's just a place I don't care to be. Most of these niggas wouldn't say shit if they was ahead of me. No back and forth. I did it back then. I do it right now. I opened a lane for my era. I'm goaded. They gave me the crown. Go with I mean, it's not dissimilar to the Wii eShop music. Now, Drake already kind of did that with Hotline Bling, of course. But let's run a little bit of the Wii eShop music just for fun. Let's take it back. That drop is clean. They was ahead of me. No back and forth, I did it back then. I do it right now. I opened a lane for my era. I'm goaded, they gave me the crown. Mm -hmm. Go with all the success, the negative press. I'm watching it pal. They saying that black music dying. I'm saying they right on the south. Mm -hmm. But look at me now, damn, y'all. Look at me now. Whatever I do isn't why I'm keeping the queens because that's my side. I shook up the town, I shook up the city, I shook up the state. Yeah, I mean, it is delivering on exactly what you'd want it to be delivering on, right? Nas, it's just everything he touches. I mean, oh, it's this fucking mic stand. Look at this. Everything he touches at the moment, especially with Hit Boy, is just. It's just. 21 Savage is the feature killer. If he's going to deliver a proper verse on this, though, I'm hoping it's top tier. He keeps proving himself over and over and over and over again. Can he deliver with Nas? That's the question. Can he really deliver with Nas? I, I expect he can. Let, let's keep it going. With 21 on my second run, that shit with age. It's a conversation. It's determination. Your interpretation. I just shot the nation. Did my tour with the woo. I came back and I set the pace. They just ran and what about creep and took what I replaced it. Two Caucasians, so part of their faces. Most of y'all assume that they was black as exploitation. Jesus. They know that I see everything invested in ring. It's cool to be mainstream. I'd rather be timeless. That's if we keep it in peak. 21. 21, 21. Okay, before 21 comes in, see if I can bring up the lyrics. Right, so I didn't know this. Nose was on tour with Wu Tang Clan, and when he was away, um, one of his houses got burgled. And it was two white people. And I was saying because of the typical stereotypes, a lot of people assumed that they were black. And that's obviously something that uh, he ties into so much of his lyrics. That's interesting. I didn't know that at all. I look at this. They didn't know that I see everything. I invested in Ring. So not only did he have the Ring doorbell, but he's an investor. That's what I'm talking about. I'm on that same trajectory. Bullet wounds in jail cells can't stop me. This my destiny. Mm. Never controversial. I'm mad the fans expect the less from me. Nigga sneeze around me. Wipe his nose. Don't get no bless from me. I mean, it's just people sneeze around him and he won't even say bless them. He won't even say bless you. 21 Savage is that cold. You won't even say bless you. Fuck the jury, I'd rather buy land and invest successfully. I got all type of stocks and bonds. Can hand they wildly on my wall and I'm going to pass it to my son. It's, it's interesting because obviously when we listen to Nas on the King's Disease records, he gives so much game, so much wisdom. And I always say that not only can all of us as an audience listen, but the other rappers, the younger rappers should be listening to what he's saying because he's lived that exact life and he's been so successful and continues to be successful. Not just in his ability to maintain this high level of rapping, which is his own thing, but also how to spend money, how to invest. 21 Savage is a much younger man here talking about basically following that path. It's really interesting and it gives it a, a good synergy. For me, fuck the jury, I'd rather buy land and invest successfully. I got all type of stocks and bonds, can hand they wildly on my wall and I'ma pass it to my son. It's savage like the cop, oh, that mean Escobar the done. One mic, one gun. My net worth like eight figures. I'm working on getting me nine. You know that I'm one of them niggas. I ain't doing no cap in the line. You rappers be chasing the hype. I do it and I don't be trying. I ain't going against no legend, nigga. I'm trying to be next in line. Mm -hmm. I ain't going against no legend. I'm trying to be next in line. Exactly, once again, kind of reiterating what I was just saying here. And this evolution 
of this artist in 21 Savage from people, what people were calling a mumble rapper. I never really think that he was, but I don't think at first when he came out, he was really held as a proper lyricist, proper MC. Now, he's not on the level of a Nas or even a Cole Kendrick, and he's probably not going to get there, although he comes out with the coldest shit every single time. But this is the trajectory he's going in. Uh, he's a proper, in inverted commas, a proper rapper that wants to continue and have longevity in this game, in this sport, in this industry, in businesses, and to constantly create great music. It makes sense to work with Nas. I love the fact that Nas is being held in such esteem as well by the younger rappers, as he should be, but it's great to see it as well. Acting like I just popped. I was platinum before I signed. I went platinum without no features. I put platinum on your mind. Mm. This block I got too tone, and this bitch don't bust no rhyme. They want to see me flip so they could deport me like I'm shine. No, oh, talking about um, them trying to deport him as well. Obviously, you know, turns out he was born over here and they were trying to deport us. America's immigration laws are fucked. They telling me that I'm the G-O-A-T. I've been here for a while. Mm. Go, love me today. Hate me tomorrow, no switching my style. Huh. 21 yet, y'all get together, be big for the South. The glow. But look at me now, damn, y'all. Look at me now. Uh, whatever I do is New York. You hear that shit all in my vowels. Ooh. Everything I do is New York. You hear that shit in my vowels. I love lines like that. City, I shook up the state. I'm one of the ones on my second run. I'm on a new wave. Mm. Two kings. We send a love to the whole culture. 21 Esco. Mass appeal, slaughter game. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, with what he's done in the last couple of years, a track like this, the four projects he's put out, Nas is very difficult to argue against him being the greatest of all time. You can say bar for bar, Jay-Z, all this sort of stuff, and it's an argument that will run forever, and it's a fun argument, it's fun discussion. But I'm talking about what has happened in the last two years is quite incredible. And the fact that he's now interested in bringing other artists along for the ride. Now, 21 and Savage probably outsells Nas in 2022 but Nas has been doing it for two plus decades and that's the game that's what these other artists want to be able to get to and I love the fact that he wants to connect with these artists I guess to make himself still feel young and and relevant but I think that's the way to be as somebody who's getting older listen I'm not quite as old as Nas but I'm getting up there and that's the that's the energy I want to have in this world to connect and understand what young people are doing not necessarily to follow it not necessarily to emulate it not necessarily to to try and be like that because that just comes across as awkward you got to be yourself and do what you want to do but stay on top of everything give respect to what the young people and the younger generation are doing find what you like about it take it that's essentially the whole essence of this channel which I think is why I'm really loving this Nas run at the moment on top of the fact that the music is just outstanding. All right, subscribe. Come along for this journey if you're on it with me. And I'll catch you on the next one. Hope. Hey. Hey.